Hello, what's going on? Christine Austin L here with a video doing live phone calls. I have my leads in front of me. I wrote down on a small little piece of paper the times that I have available and the days that I have available to work. And I am literally just going to jump on these phones and set some appointments. So here we go. Unfortunately, I am on the, oh no, I'm on the Android. So I will be able to hit pause in between the dialing so you don't have to sit and listen to the phone dial. So I'll be back. Hello, is this Miss Pamela? Yes. This is Christine giving you a call back in regards to that final expense insurance information you requested. How are you doing today? Okay. Good, good. Were you calling for just yourself or were you looking for this information for you and another loved one? I don't even know what I've called. I don't even remember calling. Well, I'm sorry, you didn't call. You filled out that little card that talked about the final expense and you put down that you were 72 years young. Is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're still over the 209 West 3rd Street, apartment 208? Yes. Okay. Well, are you married? No. Okay. Single. Okay. Well, most of my seniors that fill out the forms, they are usually filling it out just for themselves. Uh, it's a real simple um, product. It only takes about 10 minutes to go over to see if it is a good fit for you guys. Uh, when is the best time of day for you, Miss Pamela? In the morning, afternoon, or evenings? Uh, anytime. Anytime? Okay. Well, let me check this calendar real quick. It looks like we do have some time available on tomorrow as well as on Sunday. Do you prefer Saturday or Sunday? Sunday would be okay. Sunday? Okay. Um, I have a 9.15 or a 10.30 open right now. 10.30. All right. And I do have an 11.45 if you want a little bit later. It's okay. Okay, so I'm going to put you in for the 1030. Again, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. You can answer any questions um, that you have at that time. The underwriter will have on a bright green shirt. You cannot miss the color with an ID badge in the front, okay? Okay. All right, and do you have a different buzzer number or is it your apartment number? My apartment number. Okay, perfect enough. I put you in for Sunday at 1030, okay? That's fine. All right, honey. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you on Sunday. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Oh, thank you so much. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, all right. First call, we have an appointment set up for Sunday at 1030. Uh, what I did was I wrote the day that I called and the time that I called, and I also wrote on the lead the day and the date of the appointment. On my little sheet of paper, I will mark an X through the 1030 slot because I know that that time is now taken. Um, and if, in fact, this is the first time that you are watching me make phone calls and set appointments, I always write on the lead the day, the date, and the time that I made the phone call, okay? And that way you know i just like to keep track of of everything of when i called so if i don't get them on the phone and i'm making calls again i do not call at the same time all right now some of these leads i've already um called or went by the home so i'm just going through them if there's no phone numbers on the lead i actually looked up phone numbers through white the white page app so you can do that as well and always smile even though you're on the phone you want to smile so that they can hear your tone because when I'm talking and I'm not smiling can you tell the difference hello? right hello is this Teresa yeah. Hi, Teresa. This is Christine, and I'm not a telemarketer. I'm actually giving you a call back in regards to this I final know. expense insurance information you requested. What's... I'm not interested. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. So if they say that on the phone, which you are going to get that, it does not matter. I wrote down the time on here. She put not. She said not interested. She has no idea what this is. 
we will door knock her. But I do know that this is the time that she's home. So that's going to be around the time that I door knock her um, the next time I'm in the area. Okay? So do not feel, oh my God, they said they're not interested. So I, I burned through a lead. They get a million calls all day. They most of the time don't remember. And again, when I get to the house, I'm going to hand her the lead. And that lead has her name, her age, and her phone number handwritten in there. So when she sees it, she'll probably recognize it. And it usually goes over better. But I will not allow somebody to tell me that they're not interested on the phone as though they're not interested. I'm going to go and see her. And you just keep on going. I can't come to the phone right now. I will leave a voicemail. Leave your number and I will call you as soon as I can. God bless you and have a good day. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, Carol. This is Christine giving you a call back in regards to the final expense insurance information you requested. You can call me back at 412-403-3680. Again, that number is 412-403-3680 in regards to the final expense insurance information you requested. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye-bye. So you guys got to hear me leave a voicemail. Um, and a lot of these I do not have a phone number for. So I will door knock them. So I'll be back. Hello, Bonnie. Yes. This is Christine, honey, from Lincoln Heritage calling you back regarding that final expense insurance information you requested. How you doing today? Yes. All right. Good, good. I'll be real quick. When you filled out that card, was it just for yourself or for you and another loved one? Just myself. Okay, perfect. And you're still over to 215 West Main Street? Yeah. All right. Easy part about this, Miss Bonnie, it only takes about 10 minutes to go over that benefit. When is the best time of day for you? Morning, afternoon, or on the evenings? Uh, I'm not really interested in it right now. I... I... After I got the information back and everything, I'm just not interested in the the real insurance. Okay, well, this one, you didn't get any information in the mail. We actually just received your request. And again, there's no obligation to you at all. But it only takes about 10 minutes. So what you just need well, to... I'm not, I'm not interested right now. I'm, I'm, you know, I'll just drop it for now. Okay, did you have any coverage for your spinal expenses? Yes, yes, I do. I already have coverage. Okay, so you have some life insurance. Yes, I do. Okay, awesome. Well, I'll go ahead and mark that down. And again, if, when we have an underwriter in the area, he'll just drop you a package or she will, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, Miss Bonnie, you have a blessed day. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so as you've seen, I tried to gain some information and obviously she has been filling out some forms because she received something from somebody else. A lot of times when that happens, they were not qualified for another program. So they feel that they're not gonna qualify for ours. And with my product, Lincoln Heritage, we can qualify anyone really except for HIV or AIDS um, if they're bedridden or in a care facility or receiving hospice care, right? So she doesn't sound like she's in a facility. This is a home address. I will go and door knock her. I wrote on my lead that she does have some life insurance, which she probably lied. And I also put down to bring a packet. So I will put a packet together with some, some rates in there. But of course, my goal is not to drop off the packet, but to actually have a conversation with her. So I also wrote down the day, the date, and the time so that I know when a good time is that she answered the phone usually will be a time when she is um, available at home. All right? All right. And then we're on to the next phone call. So this lead is actually a TV lead that I'm about to call. Um, and you'll notice that I say funeral advantage program when I'm calling a TV lead because that is usually what they see on the commercial. 
um, opposed to what I'm calling a mailer, I'll say final expense program. So let's see if he's available. Hello. I can't answer the phone right now. Okay, so that went straight to voicemail, so I'm going to call right back. Hello. Okay, I can't answer the phone right now. Leave a message, and I will get right back to you. Hello, Vincent. This is Christine returning your call in regards to the Funeral Advantage program. You called into our commercial about two weeks ago requesting information about our benefit, and I am calling you back to go over that information with you. You can call me directly at 412-403-3680. Again, that number is 412 403 Three six eight zero, and it is Friday, uh, September thirteenth at twelve thirty p.m. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye bye. All right. So as my voice is steady, trying to leave me, you um want to try to be high, you know, sound good and happy and energetic and all that good stuff, right? And we're going to just keep it moving. I have a couple more leads that I'm going to call through here that are in this same county. So prayerfully, we can get another appointment in here. I'll be back. Okay, so they, I dialed and they picked up and hung up. So I'm calling her right back. Hello? And so she hung up again. Oh, I'd have messed up my camera. Hey, guys. third time. Hi, this is Pittsburgh Peggy. I'm out and about and not answering my phone, so it's please leave Peggy. your name in a message at the beep, and I will call you back. Thank you. Off the tone, please record your message. And when you have finished time. recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, this is Christine. I'm not a telemarketer. I'm actually calling for Margaret in regards to this final expense insurance information that we received a card on. Uh, you can give me a call back. Again, my name is Christine and my number is 412-403-3680. That number is 412-403-3680. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, so I went ahead and left a message. Picked up and hung up. And I'm writing on here that they hung up, but I left a voicemail. All right, guys. So that is the last lead. The rest of these do not have phone numbers. So I called through about, I don't know. Well, I have 25 leads here. But a lot of these leads do not have phone numbers. The ones that have phone numbers, I went ahead and made the calls. Um, hopefully, this short clip helps you guys out as I was making the calls and explaining the different scenarios. It helps you to understand that what I'm doing right now is just calling to set appointments. It does not matter what they say on the phone if it is anything other than the day and the time that they want me to come. I am door knocking them regardless. All right. They are going to see my face. They're going to see my beautiful smile. They're going to get my positive energy. And I'm going to try to help their family. Because again, they receive phone calls all day long. They don't remember who I am. They have no idea. So I'm going to show up with the lead in hand so I can hand it to them. So that can refresh their memory. And then I also have uh, the copy of the lead letter that I carry with me um, to also refresh their memory. So guys, have fun calling through your leads, setting appointments, and going and servicing the people because that is why we are here.